Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. So I have another reading for you guys. So let's jump right into it and get your person's energy. Oh shit, I didn't even plug in the shower. Okay, so your person's energy currently is the house here yeah, upside down. Um, it's the king of hearts and the four, the number four, okay? Um, so what I'm picking up here is your person right now, they just feel like whatever they had going on within that household, they feel like that household is upside down right now. Um, with this king of um, hearts spinning in reverse, it's like they don't feel like giving anything. It's like they, maybe they don't feel the love here, but I'm not picking up that this person is feeling love in here. It's like their house is not in order, okay? Um, shit is just upside down for them right now. And as far as that mental space here, it's like they can't get no rest or... They can't get no peace within their household or something like that. Okay, we have the, the polar bear here. So this person can definitely be, even though they can be loving at times here, I'm picking up, but they feeling icy right now. Like, they really feeling ice cold with this polar bear energy here. Um, with this ten of wands, it's the ten of um, clubs and the number 40, the number 15. So they feel like it's a burden here. They have some type of burden that they, need to, that they need to drop here, especially dealing with this household being out of out of order. Like the household is not in order. They not happy pretty much. Um, it's a burden dealing with what it is that they're dealing with here. And it's like they need to get away from it. also have the compass at the break so that's all the suits here and it's a number 42 okay so again with the six of clubs coming up again here it's like they need to find some type of direction or looking for some type of direction or some way out with this compass okay um because right now your person is not in like a good energy um or in they're not in a good place right now um, so they're trying to move away from like this, whatever this energy is. Like they're trying to put something behind them. Possibly something from the past, okay? They're trying to put something from the past behind them. And they're trying to get some type of balance here, okay? Or... Trying to get some type of equal give and take. And they're just trying to be put into the direction because I feel like they went through a lot of changes here with a lot of fives. And now they're moving on into like 
the six energy here, which is like getting over that, moving past whatever this is that they're going through. stable they don't they don't feel any type of stability at all right now especially when it comes to their household they're not able to do what they want to do they're not able to they're not able to really give what they want to give here and it, that can definitely have a lot to do with like what's going on with this economy right now like they could be just lagging in funds or whatever and because this person may not have enough money or whatever this case may be then that just put them in this fucked up ass mood. They, but they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to move away from it and move past it. But they just feel like restless. Like they can't sleep. Like they can't get no peace. It's like a peace of mind where they at. It's just not stable. They living in an in, unstable home or something. Okay, so we have the Four Swords energy. So they feel like with you, they have refuge, okay? They seeking refuge with you. They feel like with you, they have peace, okay? Because where they at in their household right now, they don't have that, okay? It's like their house is upside down. They can't get no fucking proper rest in there. Like, the shit is unstable. But with you, they feel like they can rest their mind. They can clear their mind. They feel peaceful around you. They feel like, yeah, so with the Seven of Swords energy, they feel like they can definitely accomplish anything with you, okay? They feel, they get attention from you. They feel this attention that they get from you that they don't get from where they, wherever they are. Yeah, and they definitely have this, um, we have the Ace of Wands as well, so they definitely at the break. So we have, um, they definitely feel this attraction towards you, and they definitely feel like that you guys can definitely have a brand new passion to begin in. Yeah, you heal them, and you give them hope. With the Star card here, okay, so they feel some type of hope when it comes with you, or they feel this healing energy, or they just feel good when they're around you, okay? We have Aquarius energy here. So your person can be an Aquarius, or you can have that sign in your chart. Okay, so we have the temperance here. So they definitely see that you balance them out. Okay, um, you definitely balance them out. You guys could definitely be drinking together or something like that. But, well, y'all get, yeah, y'all definitely drink together, um, share drinks. But they feel like you mellow them out, you balance them out, they feel peaceful with you. Um, that's what I'm picking up on how they're feeling about you. We have the King of Wands energy here. So they definitely feel like you take the lead here. Um, they definitely see that you're very creative. Um, they can definitely be a fire sign for sure, but they see that you're very creative. Um, and they feel like, yeah, they feel like, 
Like you take the lead and you pick up the pieces like with them. Definitely a fire sign here for sure because we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So they definitely feel very attracted to you, okay? So y'all definitely fuck with each other for sure. But it could definitely be a third party situation, but you guys are like working it out or even though this person has like a flighty energy or something like that, it's like y'all working on it or y'all y'all just dealing with it here with this three of um, pentacles. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's going to work itself out moving forward, especially if it's a third party situation. But this person is definitely feeling attraction from you. They feel calm around you. They feel like they have peace with you. It's like they're healing you, healing them in a sense. They have a peace of mind with you, you know, you balance them out. You, they feel balanced when they're with you. And then we have the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, but they they really kind of feel like, you know, they could be some type of ending here or... Yeah, but I kind of feel like even though they feel this way about you, they may feel like, you know, that this situation may end between the two of you guys. Um, and I'm kind of feeling like it may have something to do with this other household that your person is in where they're not stable or something. But they have hope, you know. They haven't hoped that it'll work out here or they're trying to heal for some type of ending. Hmm, so we have Sagittarius and Aquarius here and um, Pisces. I need to see more. Yeah, they worry about something changing, yeah. Or it's fear, you know. You calm them down from their fears that they have. This fear of something ending or them losing it all. Or they could be going through something where somebody in their household could be close to death. Or you know, knocking on death's door and they come to you for comfort. Six of Cups, yeah, so you're definitely somebody who they trust. You guys have known each other for a while, okay? Y'all definitely have a good connection. So this is why they feel peace around you. They feel um, trustworthy around you, yeah. This, they definitely feel they love you. They have a lot of emotions for you with this um, King of Swords energy here. So there's a lot of, like, generosity between the two of you guys. But they definitely see you as somebody who they can trust, okay? Somebody they can trust, somebody they see as loyal, they see you as confident as well. But when they're tired of dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with here, with this Nine of Wands and this Five of Swords energy, they know that they can come to you, okay? This Queen of Cups energy, they know that they can come to you. And you'll heal them with this Temperance card, and then we have the Star card again. You'll heal them out and balance them. Balance them out emotionally or whatever they're going through. So they, like I was saying, picking up with the four swords. So they know that, 
you, um, they just feel very comfortable around you, okay? They, they, they come to you to seek peace, silence, whatever, okay? So we have a Aquarius energy here. We got Sagittarius still, and then we have Water Sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, you make them feel like empowered or something with this emperor energy, Aries energy. You make them feel like the man. You make them feel like, you know, they on top because wherever they at right now, they don't, they don't feel that way. Two of swords. Yeah, so you balance them out when they in this like indecisive, stable type of energy. Um, yeah, and then we have the two of pentacles. So yeah, you help keep them stable or help keep them balanced as far as what it is they need to do or focus on here. The four of cups. Okay, so they definitely want to give you some type of offer here. But they feel like you're going to reject it here you know, or something like that. So they want to make an, another attempt towards you um, or offer something towards you. But they feel like you're going to reject it. This person is definitely thinking about it a lot. So they could definitely be an air sign or a Gemini. King of Cups is coming out again. So they want to offer some type of emotion to you or, you know, let you know, show you that appreciation is what I'm picking up here. This is what they want to do moving forward. We have the Lovers card. So they want to extend, they want to give you some type of emotion or take a relationship to the next level or something like that here moving forward. Yeah, they definitely want to give you something here. And they want to work the situation out with you. This is something they're thinking about. So they can definitely have air in that chart if this King of Swords can come back up. But I kind of feel like this person is kind of holding back right now. Okay. Could be holding back due to financial reasons because we have, yeah, financial hardship. Because we have the Four of um, Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands. So this is definitely financial hardship. So it's kind of hard for them to offer you something here when they're trying to hold on to their money or something like that here. They want to see you as emotional fulfillment. They want emotional fulfillment with you. They want something stable with you. They want things to be stable. But I kind of feel like money is hard right now. So this is why they're kind of like holding back. And then they, this could be the energy that they end. Like they feel like it's going to take time for you guys to get to this emotional fulfillment with the Center Cups energy here. But they do see that it's work that it will work out. So we have Gemini, Aries. And Taurus energy so far. And the other ones that I said, Sagittarius, you know, some of the swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so they're stuck in the mind about some type of ending here or that's something that's going to end, okay, um, if they move forward. So whatever they have here with you, I kind of feel like they definitely charge this and they kind of feel like if they move forward with the situation with you right now and in, in, in the state that they're in or whatever the situation they in, dealing with their household or whatever this is, what they got going on right here, they feeling like, in their mind, if they move forward towards you or rush forward towards you here, that is going to be a disaster, okay, with the Ten of Swords, that is going to be some type of ending here. And this is what they're thinking, okay? So I kind of feel like they want to just start off small with this Page of Pentacles energy. Yeah, so they want to communicate with you, and they just want to start off small with you, okay? Um...
yeah, and just filling up the connection more to see if the if is if the connection will be able to withstand, you know, um a strong commitment here. It's like they they get all of this sense of everything with you, but I feel like they don't really want to fuck it up. You know, based off of what they got going on, they might have other shit they need to deal with first before they can move forward to you. But this is just them, like, if it seems like this person is holding back, it's because, you know, they feel like if they if they come forward towards you, then they'll mess it up. So they definitely just trying to, like, you know, take it easy, basically. And then we have the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, so this is them losing control, like, mentally here. I mean, too controlling or overthinking the situation, basically. So this is them overthinking the situation that things is going to be destructive if you guys get together. And this could be more so of the way they're feeling about themselves, okay, or what they have done in past relationships, and they may feel like it will trickle down into this one. So I don't feel like you guys are in a serious relationship here. Y'all is more like talking friends, fucking friends, something like that. But y'all have a good connection. Yeah, and this is what the burden is. So this is the burden of them being in their mind thinking that this relationship would be destructible. So maybe you have a good thing going right now and you don't want to fuck it up. <clears throat> because the thought of, yeah, the thought of this situation ending before it actually truly can you know, begin is what is controlling their mind right now. Like, that's the thoughts that they have. And so they secretly do want to offer you something here of something, but they just feel like it's just this fear that they got that they got to get over before they can offer you anything. They got to get out of their own mind. And they also, too, could be stuck in a controlling situation. That it needs to end, which is something that's going on up here in this household. That's why the household isn't stable. It's something they got going on up here that's a controlling situation that they need to get out of. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so basically the situation really isn't going to go anywhere right now. Um, unfortunately, like the Knight of Pentacles is like barely going any goddamn way. Um, this person is just staying strong and what they believe in, in their mind that if they perceive you or offer anything to you, <coughs> then it's going to be fucked up. You know, this is what they're feeling here. This, and it's basically, I'm going to figure, I'm going to find out why they're feeling this way, but this is basically what they're feeling here. So the situation is just isn't going to go anywhere right now, um, which is the best case scenario until this person get out of their mind. So we have the of pentacles here so yeah there won't be any commitment here okay um especially if you're dealing with a gemini because this person is just with the king of um swords 
Okay, the King of Swords in reverse as well is because of this person like added to you right now. Um, and this and this probably not the attitude towards you, but it's their attitude that they're feeling in general about everything. Because mind you, you know, they not in a good place right now. They feeling icy, they feeling like they need to move away from the situation, but they come to you for solace, okay, and support and they come to you for a peace, a peace of mind. You know, y'all fuck each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all drink together. They come to you to get away from whatever they got going on in their household. But, so they feel like if they offer you something else, yeah, is they feel like there's something wrong with them. You know, they feel like this is cool, what y'all got going on, but they, and they want to offer you something else, but, you know, the blockage is... What they're currently thinking about themselves here. So this is why it won't go anywhere. You know, there won't be a commitment and, you know, it won't go anywhere because of the way that this person is thinking, their thought process, okay? It's like they have a fucked up way of thinking right now. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, yeah, we have the high front at the um, break. So they can definitely be in some type of committed situation or a marriage here already. Um... But this is what is preventing, you know, this connection from coming forward towards you guys moving forward here. Let me see. Why is this person thinking so fucked up about themselves? Like, why? Yeah, so we have the strength card and the two of wands here. Okay, so I kind of feel like they don't trust themselves. They don't trust the direction that they're going in. Okay, um, they don't trust the direction that they're heading. We have the tower moment here. So this person went through tower moments, okay, unexpected, you know, things that happen in their life right now, okay? So they don't trust that change in the course would do them any good right now uh, because of these tower moments that they had here. So I kind of feel like emotionally, the emotions that they have for you right now, it's like a burden, you know, get into this Ten of Cups energy. So I kind of feel like they just, y'all just in the process of just taking things slow right now with this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so even though they in the Knight of Pentacles energy, looking like they're about to go somewhere or move somewhere, it's like still in this energy, but this is still a good energy where you, um, this is still a good energy where, you know, you come with this person, y'all feel good around each other, y'all fucking each other, you know, y'all have all this emotional things, but it won't never get to, um, a committed point unless this person can get out, get past these tower moments that they haven't, you know, this is what is causing that emotional, that emotional block, this was going to keep them emotional distant from you is, these tower moments that they be having here. But this is what's hidden behind the high priestess. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, okay? Or maybe they're just not really saying that. But secretly, they want things to grow with you. They want things to move forward with you. They want things to um, progress, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. And they want to move away with the Six of Swords towards a brand new passion beginning and then we have the lovers card here okay because you balance them out and they feel like it can move towards stability but it's just them getting out of their head you know what i'm saying it's just them getting out of their head yeah and gaining control this fell on the floor that's what i just picked up but mind you this was just right here on the table, and it was literally like no way near the edge of the table, seriously, which is like right here. But it fell on the floor in the upright until they can gain control and stability again and feel like the man again, or feel like you know, I don't know, I just kind of feel like I don't feel like that pride is broken, but they just really going through some shit or something. That, you know, they just going through something within themselves they just need to work on, basically. So we have Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, and I said the other sign already, Gemini. We 
Leo. It could definitely be their pride too. Like they could definitely be real prideful as well. That's keeping them from moving forward into the direction of you or keeping them from moving things a little bit more forward here. It's like they lack in direction. And it's like they trying to see the direction. See, because they lack in some type of direction on which way it can go. You know, it's like they not trusting the path that is being... It's like they're not trusting like what's being put before them. And this is what this compass is. You know, it's like they need to be led onto the right path or the right direction or something. It's like they're trying to find a way, you know, away from this. This icy energy and this fucked up st stable energy that they in this whatever they got going on. So they're trying to find like, the way out. But they don't want to like bring you down with them if shit don't go right or something. So currently, you know, the best case scenario as of right now, because, you know, energies can change, but currently it's just going to be what it is right now, you know. Until this person can get out of their head. Okay, so we have very soon, and it says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So whatever it is that you want, I feel like it's going to come to you very soon. But, you know, right now, as of now, it's just in this energy of this stalemate, you know, stuck type of energy right now. Like this indecisive energy. Because they could definitely be feeling like indecisive about you and definitely trying to balance some things out there for sure. But I don't feel like it has anything to do with you because with you I feel like they have they feel all this with you but it's what they got going on like in the background. That's the shit that they need to take care of. And then we have let go of control issues. And it says a lot of situations will unfold naturally. Yeah. So that's what needs to happen here. Because that could have been like some deception or, you know, somebody not really admitting the way they feel here with this deception energy here. Okay, so you have healing, and it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Yeah, so you, like I was saying, you give them some type of healing energy. Okay, like just nurturing type of energy, they come to you here. Um, when you're feeling sad or feeling depressed or whatever, it's like you help them like heal here. We have two cards indicating healing energy. So I kind of feel like, you know, the situation definitely has a chance to turn itself around, you know, and move forward. But only after, you know, I'm feeling like after this person heals from whatever they have going on with this unstable um, situation here. And also they need to really clear their mind, you know, from these um, these thoughts that they be having here. So this is the message that I have for you, Cancer. So hopefully you got something from it, and I'll see you guys in the next reading.